There are five foundations to living a fulfilled life, and once you start focusing on them, everything will start to fall into place. How do I know this? Because I f up time and time again. And now, I've turned a corner. These five foundations are health, social life and relationships, work, morning and evening behavior, and personality. You wouldn't build a house on broken foundations, so I'm gonna tell you how you can take care of yours so you can avoid, well, this. Your health is a foundation for obvious reasons, because if you don't focus on it enough, you cease to function. For a number of years, I didn't really think this through. I let my declining mental health impact my physical health through poor diet, excessive alcohol consumption, and lack of exercise. I'm quite unhappy with myself. I thought I should just be able to solve all of this myself when, in reality, once I started talking to others and realizing that I wasn't taking care of myself, things took a turn. And there was a simple route I took to improve my health significantly. Firstly, I started being more considerate about what I was eating focusing on reducing my fat, salt, sugar, and alcohol content. Secondly, I got active again. While people might tell you that you must go to the gym to be healthy and productive, you don't. Focus on what works for you, whether it's running, walking, resistance exercise, or anything else that gets your body moving. Realistically, it's about balance. You don't need to turn into a fitness freak, a gym lad, and a nutritionist to improve your foundation here. Just start building these activities into your day-to-day -day life, and start seeing the benefits straight away. A strong social life and a romantic partner both correlate with happier lives. That's why it's a foundation for me. So naturally, I went halfway across the country, cavalier as you like, in a global pandemic to live on my own. I isolated myself significantly, which had a knock-on impact to my mental health and left me feeling so down that life didn't feel worth it anymore. I am now fortunate enough to have a group of friends that I love and a girlfriend I adore, and allowing myself to recognise their positive impact on my life has helped to change not only my outlook on life, but my behaviours towards myself and others. If you aren't in that sort of situation, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Here's a couple of things that I wish I'd done when I was struggling with this. Firstly, join groups for hobbies you're interested in. This will bring you closer to like-minded people and make it easier to build relationships. Secondly, try and put yourself out there in the dating world. I was so afraid of putting myself out there at all, but once I did, things changed much quicker than I expected. And thirdly, speak to more people in your day-to-day -day and take an interest in their life. Building that into your day-to-day -day life will improve your social confidence. So if you think you can just get everywhere you need in your life completely on your own, I'm gonna refer you back to our previous metaphor. It's estimated you'll spend a third of your life working. And so, unless you want to spend a third of your life minimum, miserable, then you need to consider this a foundation. Throughout school and university, I'd not spent a huge amount of time thinking about what I'd wanted to do in my life. When I was a kid, I wanted an office job, and I fell into one as an adult, but it never quite fulfilled me the way I wanted it to. Once I started working on YouTube videos, I knew I was close to finding what I wanted to do, but not quite there, until I started thinking about Unitive as a wider project. My goal is to make this my full-time income, not only because it aligns with my interests, but because it will give me a sense of freedom that I massively value. But this isn't just another video about why you should quit your nine to five. For you, it may be just getting yourself into a working environment you're proud to step into every day. For some, it might be getting the chance to work with people you love. Something that helped me understand what it was that I wanted was writing all my thoughts down about what my dream working life would be. What were my non-negotiables? What were my expectations? What were my goals? Simple as and it put me on the right track. But how good your work is can often depend on something else. There's a couple of reasons I think these are foundational in your life. They're the majority of people's only free time during the working week, and they set you up for each day, which I found to be a fundamental driver of my mental state. My mornings used to consist of waking up at 8.45, rolling to my desk and starting work at nine with my eyes half shut. And I felt like shit all day. 
So come the evening, I snacked, drank, binge-watched and got annoyed at myself for not being more productive. And I felt like shit all night. And then I wouldn't sleep well because I was clasping at those precious extra seconds that I wasn't spending working. Once I sorted out my morning and evening routine, things changed drastically. I found more time for things I actually wanted to do. I felt more rested and ready for the day, which in turn made work more enjoyable. I felt more productive in the evenings and built physical activity into my life, which helped me to sleep significantly better. The key takeaway is that I built these routines based on things that I actually wanted to get out of them. Focus on what you want to get out of your free time and build your routines around that. Finally, we have one of the most important. You. Your personality. We are all unique and we need to lean into that uniqueness. There will always be things that you like about yourself and things you don't. I know firsthand. How I acted towards myself and others when I was struggling mentally is something I hated about myself but when I looked at it negatively, it just compounded the behavior. When I recognized that this was foundational to how I felt towards my life, I set up a value system and tried to act in alignment with it. Something I believed in, and it gave me some purpose to act more presently and appropriately. Now I treat people in a way that I'd like them to treat me instead of not really thinking about my actions at all. I don't always get it right. And honestly, this is a foundation that I still really need to put time into. But the key takeaway is to lean into your uniqueness, lean into positivity. Because at the end of the day, you've got to live with yourself your whole life. It's much easier if that's someone you like. Look, I've not solved every problem in my life with this, but the more I focused on these foundations, the more fulfilled I felt with every action I take. So if you want to know more about how I've done it or want to let me know if you think I've missed any foundations, let me know in the comments and subscribe to come along on this journey with me. Sometimes all you need is something simple.